Systematic Evaluation of Cough Causes in Adults and Children. This is Lydia and welcome to the official Global RPH YouTube channel. We're thrilled to have you here. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our latest videos. Whether you're here for medical insights, the latest healthcare trends, or just some educational fun, we've got something for everyone. So stick around and join our growing community. There's always something new and exciting just around the corner. This video aims to systematically evaluate and differentiate the various causes of cough in both adults and children. The focus is on clinical presentation, diagnostic methods, and treatment approaches. This study provides an extensive overview of cough management across age groups by examining the different types of cough, their underlying causes, and the appropriate diagnostic and treatment strategies. The findings highlight the importance of accurate diagnosis and tailored treatment plans for effective cough management. Introduction Cough is a common symptom that affects people of all ages. It serves as a protective mechanism to clear the airways of irritants and mucus. However, persistent cough can significantly impact a person's quality of life and may indicate underlying health issues. Understanding the various causes of cough and the differences between adult and pediatric presentations is crucial for healthcare providers to ensure proper diagnosis and treatment. Types of cough Acute cough Acute cough typically lasts less than three weeks and is often caused by viral respiratory infections. In both adults and children, common causes include Common cold Acute bronchitis Pneumonia Subacute cough. This type of cough lasts between three and eight weeks. Causes may include post-infectious cough, bacterial sinusitis and pertussis, whooping cough. Chronic cough. Chronic cough persists for more than eight weeks. Common causes in adults include post-nasal drip, asthma, gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, in children, common causes of chronic cough include asthma, post-infectious cough, chronic sinusitis, and habit cough. Clinical presentation in adults. Post-nasal drip, often accompanied by a sensation of mucus in the throat and frequent throat clearing. Asthma, wheezing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness. GERD, heartburn, regurgitation, and worsening of cough when lying down. COPD, productive cough with sputum, shortness of breath, and history of smoking. Children, asthma, wheezing, shortness of breath, and cough that worsens at night or with exercise. Post-infectious cough, persistent cough following a respiratory infection. Chronic sinusitis, nasal congestion, facial pain, and post-nasal drip. Habit cough, dry, repetitive cough that disappears during sleep. Diagnostic methods. A thorough medical history is essential for both adults and children. Key points to consider include. Duration of cough. Associated symptoms. Triggers or aggravating factors. Previous medical conditions. Medication use. Environmental exposures. Physical examination. A comprehensive physical examination should include vital signs assessment, inspection of the nose, throat, and ears, lung auscultation, cardiovascular examination, diagnostic tests. Depending on the suspected cause, diagnostic tests may include chest x-ray, spirometry, allergy testing, sinus imaging, upper gastrointestinal endoscopy, bronchoscopy, treatment approaches. Treatment strategies vary based on the underlying cause of the cough and the patient's age. Here are some common approaches. Therapy for acute cough, supportive care, rest, hydration, and over-the-counter cough suppressants. Antiviral medications for influenza. Antibiotics for bacterial infections such as pneumonia. Chronic cough in adults, treatment of post-nasal drip, nasal corticosteroids, antihistamines, or decongestants. Asthma, inhaled corticosteroids and bronchodilators. 
Gastroesophageal reflux therapy. Proton pump inhibitors. Lifestyle modifications. Treatment of COPD. Bronchodilators, inhaled corticosteroids, and smoking cessation. Chronic cough in children. Asthma therapy includes inhaled corticosteroids and leukotriene modifiers. Post-infectious cough treatment includes watchful waiting and possible short-term use of inhaled corticosteroids. Chronic sinusitis is treated with nasal saline irrigation, nasal corticosteroids, and antibiotics if bacterial infection is suspected. Habit cough, behavioral therapy and reassurance. Comparison of adult and pediatric cough management. While there are similarities in the approach to cough management in adults and children, some key differences exist. Medication dosing. Children require age-appropriate dosing and formulations. Diagnostic procedures. Some tests may be more challenging or not suitable for young children. Certain causes of chronic cough, such as COPD, are rare in children. Treatment duration. Children may require longer treatment periods for certain conditions. Challenges and limitations. Overlapping symptoms. Many causes of cough share similar symptoms, making accurate diagnosis challenging. Limited diagnostic tools in young children. Some tests may not be feasible or reliable in young patients. Medication side effects. Long-term use of certain medications may have adverse effects, particularly in children. Patient compliance. Adherence to treatment plans can be challenging, especially for chronic conditions. Additional causes of cough. Bronchiectasis. Diagnosis. High-resolution CT scan. Sputum culture. Pulmonary function tests. Treatment. Airway clearance techniques bronchodilators, inhaled hypertonic saline, antibiotics for exacerbations, mucolytics, lung cancer. Diagnostic options include chest x-ray, CT scan, bronchoscopy with biopsy or PET scan. Treatment options include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. Interstitial lung diseases are also a potential cause. Conclusion Systematic evaluation and differentiation of cough causes in adults and children require a comprehensive approach that considers clinical presentation, appropriate diagnostic methods, and tailored treatment strategies. Healthcare providers must be aware of the similarities and differences in cough management across age groups to ensure optimal patient care. Future research should focus on developing more accurate diagnostic tools and targeted therapies for both acute and chronic cough in different age groups. Thank you for watching our Global RPH production. If you found it enjoyable and informative, please consider liking the video and subscribing to our brand new YouTube channel. Our content spans a wide range of topics designed to appeal to a diverse audience, ensuring there's always something fresh and engaging for everyone. Your support helps us grow and continue to provide interesting and valuable content. Stay tuned for more exciting videos.